and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I have a viewer re request video, and that is from Cindy Diorio, who asked if I would uh, do a video uh, so she would know more regarding transplanting her new pothos into a bigger pot and about the root mass when she does so. So, great idea, and I haven't had done a video on actual repotting of the pothos, so this is perfect. Pothos do like to be repotted on a regular basis. They don't need to be repotted really frequently. They can go two, three years at a time, but eventually they do need it. This pothos happens to really need it. So we're going to be repotting this pothos into this pot, which is a little bit bigger of a pot. As I always talk about, you don't want to go into too big of a pot when you're repotting because you leave a lot of wet soil and that wet soil can lead to root rot. And I have a whole playlist on root rot and um, also about the correct size pot and lots on that. So this, this uh, pothos, I'm going to tap out of the pot and we'll see how the roots are doing. And it is spring right now, which is a great time to repot, by the way. So when you're turning it up like down like this, you want to make sure you're going to be able to catch it when it falls. Uh, it's better than it falling on its face, so to speak. Okay, so got it out of this pot. Now, one, now that I've got it, get myself untangled here. Uh, pothos are really good about tangling you up in them. Okay, so the... Now that I've got it out of the pot, I can show you the pots together a little bit easier here. Turn this guy right side up. Okay, so we've got, you can see, this is, a, this is definitely a bigger pot than this one. This one actually fits, it would, besides the lip, would fit in there. So this is about a pot size up, and that's usually what you wanna do. Pothos uh, do best if they're, not quite pot bound, but you definitely don't want to over pot them. If you put a pothos in too big a pot, it may live, but it's just going to sit there. And that happens with a lot of plants. And it could end up getting root rot as well. So that's why you want the right size pot. So when I put this, I'm going to take off some of the old soil. And that is a good thing to do because you get off this old soil. The old soil is worn out. It, 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 it will have some fertilizer buildup in it, which is the salt buildup. You also get salt from a lot water, depending on your water and, and that sort of thing. So we just want to take that off so that we can get it into some fresh soil. Also, when you do this too, you stimulate the roots to once you repot. So you're kind of rubbing on it once you repot then the roots will uh, have a tendency to start growing into the new soil more quickly. Okay, so you don't want need, necessarily need to take everything off the root ball, but you want to loosen it up some and get out, like I said, that old soil. So that what you want to do is you want to have two-thirds root to one, th two-thirds root to one-third pot. So two-thirds of this in here will be root and one-third will be actually uh, not pot, but soil. So actually putting in more soil. So it's the root mass to soil mass. Two thirds root mass to one third soil in there. And I know that doesn't sound necessarily like a lot for the soil, but as I mentioned, when you have a plant in very wet soil, too much wet soil, that can lead to root rot. All right, so we've got this shaking out some you can see we've got a lot of roots showing here the roots is very roots are very healthy they're a tan whitey tan color nice and firm that's a really good sign okay so now what i'm going to do is take this pot here and i'm going to put some soil in the bottom of the pot you can also kind of fit it in too and see like okay yes i have a nice room around the the root ball here to fill in with soil which is great and you want to ideally have like it at least an inch but if not two inches 
on the bottom of the pot, sometimes three. Looks like I'll be fitting in about two-ish so that their bottom roots have somewhere to, to adhere to as well. And then if you feel like you've got it a little too high, you can move the soil around a little bit. And also remember too, it's not just going to grow from the bottom, but it's also going to grow from the sides. There's a lot of roots on the side. So you're not just trying to make it really deep, you're trying to get, give soil all the way around. So the, um, the bottom as well as the sides and sometimes it may be as with these white like with this wider pot here it may even be that you're going to be giving it more opportunity to grow roots on the sides than you will on the bottom which is fine so there's lots of holy hole space in here oh i did not get some of these roots in here so you're going to want to lift and of course you want to be as careful as you can be with with the roots and I kind of now that I had put some more soil on the side I kind of messed it up there so I'm gonna have to move things out of the way again so make sure you do get all the roots in when you're going in with it initially before you start adding soil like I did okay get all those roots in there And there's no, it's, it, every plant is different, every root ball is different, every pot is different, how it settles in is different. So it's going to vary. Um, and it's a little more difficult with plants like pothos because you are, it's hard to see what's going on because of all the foliage around it hanging over the side. So you really have to kind of keep adjusting until you've got it right and checking each of the, si the sides and stuff. Okay, so now I am putting in the soil on the sides, covering things up here. I'm going to make sure there's no, no um, air pockets on the sides. And this plant, these uh, pothos make really nice hanging basket plants, but I, this one I'm going to be putting on uh, a shelf to hang over, so it'll be really pretty. And uh, that's a nice thing about having this pot here that I have it in. It's a nice heavy pot, so that's one thing about pothos and philodendron, some of the hanging, sprawling plants like this. They tend to get a little heavy uh, with the foliage and if you don't have a really if you don't have a heavier pot they can sometimes go, f go fall forward so that's obviously not not a good thing and, you, and it's really not it's really not good for the plant some of the soil that fell down here it's really not good for the plant um, to fall on its head like that it's I do have a video on what to do if your plant fell how to determine if it's okay this was moistened soil promix bx is what i like to use i'll put a link below and also i have some of my pumice in here and my and my green gourmet houseplant food that i devised um, for the houseplant food so i mixed a little bit of that in as well so it's going to have a lot of good nutrients so this plant will probably take off pretty happily very soon especially since it is spring right now and that is the growth time so it's a really good time to repot so like i mentioned check with roots if you have any stray roots are here you want to tuck them in this guy had a lot of good ones and there's still some holes in the front here. So you need to just keep going around until you get that in there. And like I mentioned, the pothos don't necessarily have to be pot bound, but they aren't, they aren't big on too big, too much soil. So this, even though this is tight, I, as you can see, I'm getting in a lot of soil here. So a lot of new soil. So that shows you, even though you may think oh, this pot is just so small or whatever, and I'm not, actually, you'd be surprised at how much soil you will work in 
even in the with the one third soil that goes in. Okay, so I've got pretty good. I'm tamping down, which is pressing down to make sure. Now you don't want to go too crazy and beat on it, but you do want to be pretty firm and make sure you don't have any air pockets in there because what will happen with the air pockets is that the roots will dry out and that can kill that that area of roots in the plant and it can affect the plant above ground as well, the, the foliage, and it, it can harm the plant. So you do want to make sure you got it in there really good. Okay, a little bit more here. I think I got it. Now, after you repot, you want to water. So you want to soak it nice, nicely. And the soil was pre-moistened, but moistened, not sopping or anything. A lot of times I will re I will continue to water till it comes out the bottom of the hole. A little bit more here. So this plant is going to be, and sometimes it takes a little bit, but this plant is going to be very happy in this pot. And you can see it's a pretty cool looking pot. It's got the green on it that matches the potho, so it's very pretty. And like I said, nice and hefty too, where it's going to not, and um, unless we have an earthquake and I am in California, uh, other than that, it, um, it should stay put because I have had that problem with, like I said, philodendrons and pothos plunging forward uh, and that's not a good thing. So you can see I love how when you repot plants, they look so much better right away uh, besides having a pretty pot, but they just, when they're in the right size pot, they just look healthy, healthier already. And then of course it's going to start to put on some new growth and be very, very happy. And you would um, only want Water. I will only water again when the um, when the plant is that the first inch or so has started to dry has dried out. So you don't. It may be a week. It may be two weeks while the plant acclimates. So there you go for repotting a beautiful, beautiful pothos. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.